Uh, yeah, I hope that you're hearing me. Uh-huh. This is the future, all about cybersecurity. Talking about the hackers, I'm just trying to warn you. From the one and only legend, the cyber informer. Hey, yeah, yeah, this is the cyber reformer. Uh, this is the cyber reformer. Let's go. It's time for the Cybersecurity Business Connect and Protect Central Coast How To Video. I am Michael Trimblett, the Cyber Informer, at Cyber underscore Informer on Twitter. Your web browser is your window to the internet. Today we will look at securing your web browser without impacting your web surfing experience. In this video we will be looking at Edge, Chrome, Firefox and Safari and how to enable some of the security and privacy features to help secure your web browser. Let's go. Recap. What is user application hardening? As previously discussed in the informational video, Essential 8 Topic 7, Application Hardening, refers to preventing the running of malware or code that was unintentionally run by turning off unnecessary features in application. The Essential 8's user application hardening revolves around hardening the web browser and Microsoft Office, as these are applications you will typically use in your day-to-day business but you may not necessarily need some of these advanced features turned on. The Essential 8 tells us we need to configure web browsers to block Flash, ideally uninstall it, ads and Java on the internet, disable unneeded features in Microsoft Office, web browsers and PDF viewers. Why should we do this? Well, Flash, ads and Java are popular ways to deliver and execute malicious code on systems without the user necessarily knowing that it's happening. These are popular vectors because Flash and Java have been known to have critical vulnerabilities in just about every release and historically web browsers have been the same. Although recently with the advent of Chromium based browsers and Firefox, web browsers are no longer the target they used to be. Internet Explorer on the other hand is still a target and it is recommended to use another browser instead of Internet Explorer. Microsoft has set June 15, 2022 as the end of life for Internet Explorer. In my opinion, not a moment too soon. In this video, we won't do a browser comparison. We will concentrate on keeping your browser as secure and private as possible. The most popular browsers are Edge, Chrome, Firefox and Safari. So we will look at the recommended settings on each of these browsers. In the following slides, we will see how to enable some of the security and privacy enhancing settings in your preferred web browsers. This video is rated one propeller hat out of five. As mentioned, Microsoft has set June 15, 2022 as the end of life for Internet Explorer. Recently, Windows 10 and 11 have decoupled Internet Explorer from the operating systems to the point where it can now be uninstalled. In the past, this has not been allowed because Internet Explorer has been inbuilt into Windows. Thankfully, now that is no longer the case. To uninstall Internet Explorer, click on the Start button, type in Optional, and click on Manage Optional Features. Find Internet Explorer 11 and click Uninstall. Once uninstalled, reboot the computer to complete the process. Microsoft has studied what vulnerabilities there are in Chromium based browsers such as Chrome and Edge and found that around 50% of the vulnerabilities are in the handling of JavaScript. Java and JavaScript are completely different things. Modern browsers these days don't support Java, but they all support JavaScript. There is a compiler in the browser called JIT or Just In Time, which speeds up websites with JavaScript on them. These days, you'll be hard pressed finding a site that doesn't use JavaScript. So, Microsoft have created Super Duper Secure Mode, which turns off this JIT compiler. The downside is that you may find some websites don't load as quickly as they used to. I've been using it for over a month now and have not noticed a difference at all. So the trade-off between security and speed in this case is a no-brainer. 50% less vulnerabilities and no noticeable difference. To enable Super Duper Secure Mode, open Microsoft Edge, Click on the three dots button up in the top right. Go down and click on settings. Click on privacy search and services. Scroll down to enhance your security on the web. Enable it and then click on strict. There's no save button to save this feature. So what we'll do is just test to see whether it stays enabled by closing out of Edge, going back into Edge, back to the same section, the three dots, settings, privacy search and services, and we can see there that it is still enabled. Ad blockers add to your privacy and security. 
We've covered this in a how-to video called Install and Use Ad Blockers. Go back and watch that video on how to install my favorite ad blocker, uBlock Origin. uBlock Origin works out of the box. Available as an extension for all major browsers, Edge, Chrome, and Firefox. As we discussed in the video Install and Use Ad Blockers, it protects against malvertising or malware deployed by malicious advertising. Tracking prevention helps with privacy. Available in Edge, Firefox, and Safari. This prevents third-party websites from tracking you by stating that you do not want to be tracked. Tracking is usually used by advertising companies to profile you. Notice Google Chrome doesn't have this option, as their business model relies on tracking and profiling you to serve you relevant ads. This is how you do it in the different browsers. Open up Edge and go to the top right to the three buttons and then click on Settings. On the left-hand side of the screen, click on Privacy, Search and Services. Under the Tracking Prevention heading, click on Strict. There is no Save button, so just clicking on that will automatically save. In Firefox, go to the Hamburger button up in the top right-hand side, click on Settings, click on Privacy and Security, Scroll down to send website to do not track signal and select always. Again, there's no save button, so just selecting that will save it. On the Mac, open Safari. Go to the Safari menu, click on preferences. Within the preferences screen, click on privacy. And in the website tracking section, make sure there's a tick in the box next to prevent cross site tracking then close the window. Disable third-party cookies. All browsers support disabling third-party cookies, which helps prevent tracking across sites, such as Facebook tracking you on sites that are not Facebook. Cookies maintain your session when logged into a web browser, which is fine for the website that you're on, but you can be tracked across different websites if third-party cookies are enabled. For example, you may see the Facebook thumbs up on sites that are not Facebook. This is Facebook tracking you by the Facebook cookie. Why would they do this? Just like Google, they want to profile you to serve you targeted ads. Sadly, turning off third-party cookies can break some websites. So if it breaks the websites you normally use, you may have to add some exceptions or turn this setting off. I'll demonstrate in each of the browsers how to turn off third-party cookies. Open Chrome. Go to the three dots button and click on Settings. Click on Privacy and Security. Then click on Cookies and Other Site Data. Scroll down and select Block Third-Party Cookies. Again, there's no Save button, so selecting that has automatically saved it. Close out of Chrome. Let's now open Microsoft Edge. Click on the three dots button in the top right and click on Settings. Click on Cookies and Site Permissions. Click on Manage and Delete Cookies and Site Data. Then flick the switch next to Block Third-Party Cookies. No save button means it's already saved. Let's now open Firefox. Go to the hamburger button in the top right and click on Settings. Click on Privacy and Security and scroll down to Custom. Next to Cookies, hit the drop down box and select All Third Party Cookies. Then under Tracking Content, select In All Windows. Make sure all boxes are ticked and now we can close out of Firefox. Clear browser data on exit. The most important thing is to clear cookies on exit. Clearing other items will increase your privacy if someone else uses your login. Let's see how to do this in each of the browsers. We'll open Edge, go to the three dots button and then select Settings. Click on Privacy Search and Services. Scroll down to Clear Browsing Data. Click on Choose what to clear every time you close the browser. Flip the switch next to all of the items that you would like to clear. I recommend cookies and other site data, browsing history, cached images and files, passwords, autofill form data, and site permissions. Download history is not as necessary, but you can clear it as well if you like. Once done, close out of Edge. Now let's open Chrome. Go to the three dots button in the top right, and then click on Settings. Click on Privacy and Security, then on Cookies and Other Site Data. Scroll down and select Clear Cookies and Site Data when you close all windows. We can now close out of Chrome. Finally, let's open Firefox. Go to the Hamburger button and then click on Settings. Click on Privacy and Security. 
Scroll down to Cookies and Site Data. Put a tick in the box next to Delete Cookies and Site Data when Firefox is closed. Close out of Firefox. Turn on DNS over HTTPS or DOH. This is a technology we haven't covered yet. DNS over HTTPS or DO. DNS is how your web browser converts the human readable website you type into your web browser to its computer readable IP address. For example, loyalit.com.au's website IP address is 13.55.222.232. This is done transparently and quickly in the background every time you go to a website. These DNS requests historically have been in clear text, meaning anyone in between your browser and the DNS server, which is typically run by your ISP unless you specifically change it. ISPs and other services have found a way to profile and spy on you using your DNS requests. Some have also been known to inject their own ads into your browser. Viewing and editing DNS requests are very powerful, so it is important to protect them. It is also a popular way for web filtering to work too. DNS over HTTPS encrypts these DNS requests, which thwarts many spying and filtering efforts. The DNS server you use will see your DNS requests, but everyone in between will not and that is what we're protecting against. Most browsers now support DNS over HTTPS, but you need to turn it on because it can cause some issues if you have an internal server that you access by your web browser. You'll find there are currently five options, Google, OpenDNS, Quad9, Cloudflare, or Clean Browsing. Historically, I've used Cloudflare because they were first to market and they promised to respect your privacy. I've been using DNS over HTTPS for well over a year now, and I haven't had any issues, and I feel much more secure for using it. Let's see how to enable this in each of the browsers. Enable DOH in Chrome, click on the three dots button and click on Settings. Click on Privacy and Security, and then click on Security. Scroll all the way down to Use Secure DNS. We want to put a dot next to With, and we want to choose Cloudflare. They're my chosen provider. Once we've done that, you can now close out of Chrome. Let's have a look at it in Edge. Click on the three dots button, go down and click on Settings. Click on Privacy Search and Services. Scroll down to the Security section and select Choose a Service Provider. Click in the box and select Cloudflare. Once done, close out of Edge. Now let's look at turning on DOH in Firefox. Open Firefox. Go to the hamburger button and click on settings. Scroll down on the main screen there all the way to the bottom. Under network settings, click on settings. Scroll to the bottom of that screen and select enable DNS over HTTPS. Then select your provider, Cloudflare. Click on OK to save that setting and then close out of Firefox. Auto download updates. Automatic updates are important as installing updates keeps you safer by closing security holes as soon as updates are released. Edge and Chrome do this automatically, but we may have to enable automatic updating on Firefox and Safari. Let's see how to do this in Firefox and Safari. Open Firefox, go to the hamburger button in the top right, and then click on Settings. Scroll all the way down. And under the Allow Firefox 2, make sure Automatically Install Updates is selected. Close out of Firefox. On the Mac, just from the desktop, go to the Apple button and select System Preferences. Click on Software Updates. Ensure the tick box next to Automatically Keep My Mac Up To Date is ticked. If it's not ticked, tick the box and enter your password to save those settings. Under Advanced, make sure everything is ticked and that will allow Safari and the entire operating system to update automatically. Let's exit the propeller hat zone and wrap up the video. What do we learn? There are a number of things you can do to harden your browser security and privacy. Safari has the least number of security and privacy features. Google Chrome makes it hard for you to turn off the features that make Google money. Firefox is the most security aware browser of the four we looked at. Many security and privacy features are disabled by default. Typically, this is because it may impact on the user experience and we don't want to annoy the end users, even if it means giving up your security and privacy. Thank you for joining me for a look at hardening your web browser's security and privacy. It's easy to do, so go on and do it. Don't forget you can contact me via email, Instagram, Facebook or Twitter. 
Also, check out the podcast at loyalit.com.au slash podcast. Until next time, stay safe online. Oh, yeah, this is the Cyber Reformer. Hackers, you going down like, oh, yeah. This is the Cyber Reformer. Hackers, you going down, yeah.